and welcome to the Bounce Factory installation video. This should be a short one, but it's just to get you up and running, especially if you're not already familiar with SoundFlow. So I'm assuming that you have SoundFlow installed. I've got it open right here. This is what it looks like after you've signed up, you've activated your 30-day trial, you've gone through the onboarding process where it says, do you want to use it with Pro Tools? And you say yes, because you want to use it with Pro Tools. And you learn a little bit about how to build your first macro and assign a keyboard shortcut and all that kind of stuff. And now you're at the editor window and you want to install Bounce Factory. So what do you do? Well, at the top, you'll notice you've got a few different places you can go, and we want to go to the store. So we're going to go to the store, and right now you'll notice I've already searched for Bounce, but let's go ahead and clear the search, and these are all the apps that are available. And you'll notice that there are some paid ones up at the top of the list here, but there are also tons and tons and tons of free, really great apps to help you out. So if you're new to SoundFlow, I highly recommend that you go ahead and check this out. But let's um, go ahead and find Shep's Bounce Factory. I'm going to click Install successfully installed, click go to package. And you'll notice that now we've got in installed packages here, if I open this up, we've got Shep's Bounce Factory. Now, right now these videos are private. These are all the walkthrough videos that will show you how to use it. Um, if you haven't already seen the webinar or actually watched these videos online already, uh, they're private right now because I'm shooting this the day before it officially comes out. So, those will be previews of YouTube videos. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close up all of our little folders here so that you can see what you get in the package. So here is the Shep's Bounce Factory app. Up above it is a preset set of presets to launch the Bounce Factory walkthrough videos in your browser. Uh, you can watch them if you go out to the Bounce Factory main page. You can watch them here inside of uh, this preview window, but it's a better experience to actually watch them on YouTube. So this will just la launch them in whatever your default browser is. Then up here is the support script. Uh, you don't need to run this unless I ask you to. If you're having problems, something's not working right, I may ask you to run the collect user files. All that does is gathers up your log files and puts them in a little zip archive on your desktop so you can send them to me and I can see what's going on and fix your bugs. Down here is another app that's free forever. You don't have to be a subscriber to Bounce Factory to get it. It's called Session Snapshots. I'm not going to cover it here at all, but what it does is it uses the Bounce Factory Snapshot engine to do little tiny save as is for selected tracks within your session and recall and store those without ever having to close the session. So it has nothing to do with bouncing mixes, but it utilizes the snapshot Shot stuff that I built to let you do things like, for instance, you can select 10 tracks of background vocals, take a snapshot of them, then change the panning and change the inserts and maybe change the sends and see how that sounds and then quickly go back and forth between those two things. So let's go to Bounce Factory though. We're going to open the app. Now this is the first time I'm opening the app. So what it's going to do is it's going to switch us to Pro Tools. It's going to look inside your preferences just to find out where some of your default folders are because it uses um, some of the track preset technology and stuff like that. And then it brings you to the Bounce Factory window. You are now running Bounce Factory. There's nothing else to know except running it. But I wanted to talk about the purchase and the trial options. So. If you go into settings, this is where you'll set up the phone number or email address to be notified after certain things. The notification is a feature that is limited to the pro version of the app. Whenever you click on a feature that isn't part of the free app, which basically would just be if you try to bounce more than one mix at a time, or if you want to get alerts, what you'll do is you'll get a pop-up dialog that says, hey, this is a, well, the feature you requested is part of the paid pro tier. Would you like to purchase a, subscri a subscription now or start a trial? And you've got three choices. One is Purchase Pro, which will take you straight to the SoundFlow website where you can sign up, paying either monthly or annually. Uh, you can say no thanks and just don't do that thing. Or you can start your trial, which is what we're going to do. And it tells you your trial will expire exactly 30 days from now. Click OK. And then you get this very helpful text at the bottom, tells you exactly when it's going to expire, and that is in your local time. And that will turn orange 24 hours before it expires. And 
you can purchase it at any point. So if you decide you want to own it first, that's great. But I'd say take the 30 day trial and then the next time you try and do something advanced once it's run out, it'll just bring up that same dialogue, but you won't be able to start a trial again. But 30 days, it matches the sound flow trial and it should give you more than enough time to get started with Bounce Factory. And that's it. You're installed, you're ready to bounce mixes. Thanks a lot.